Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice exponential equation. We have 2 to the power x times 3 to the power 2 over x equals 18. And we're going to be solving for x values. I'm also going to show you a graph at the end. And we'll be presenting two methods. And let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'm going to go ahead and break down the 18 and write it as 2 times 9. And 2 can be written as 2 to the first power and 9 can be written as 3 to the second power. And then I'm going to do the following. Bring the powers of 2 together. So let's go ahead and bring this to the left and bring this to the right. So it's going to be division. So we're going to get 2 to the power x minus 1 times, actually not times, equals and that's going to equal 3 to the power 2 minus 2 over x because I'm subtracting this from 3 or I dividing this um, into 3 squared that's why I have to subtract the exponents so we kind of got something like this 2 to the power something equals 3 to the power something else and to be able to solve these equations the best method is usually using logs and in this case I'm going to use natural log on both sides so if I ln this and ln that, I should be getting the powers in the front. So we can go ahead and bring these down and bring this down. That gives us x minus 1 times ln 2 equals 2 minus 2 over x times ln 3. So we were able to simplify this to some extent. At least there is no variable in the exponent. Now here's what we would like to do. Get rid of all the fractions. So let's multiply both sides by x, multiply by x, and multiply by x. Of course, you're going to distribute the x here. So that's going to be like x squared ln 2 minus x ln 2, if you distribute the whole thing, equals, when I distribute that, I'm going to be getting 2x minus 2, and then that'll be multiplied by ln 3. So it's going to be 2x ln 3 minus 2 ln 3. Okay? Now, here's what we would like to do. Put everything on the same side and write this as a quadratic equation. You'll see in a little bit why it's quadratic. So I'm going to get ln 2 and then here I should be getting something like x squared and then I'm going to bring this over here so it's going to be like with a minus sign ln 2 plus 2 ln 3 since I'm going to negate both at the same time and that'll be multiplied by x that's going to be the coefficient of x. You see how the quadratic comes about. And then finally, this will be added. So it'll be plus 2 ln 3 equals 0. Notice that this is quadratic in x and everything else is a constant. So we can go ahead and solve this using the quadratic formula, can't we? But before we deal with the quadratic formula, I think it will be easier to be if we find the discriminant. Let's call that delta. That's what it is, the Greek letter delta, like a D. And uh, delta is going to be b squared minus 4ac, right, in a quadratic equation. If my equation is given like this, then the discriminant, which is delta, is given by b squared minus 4ac. So delta is going to be, this is my negative b, so I'll square it so it doesn't matter. It's going to be this number squared minus 4ac. It's going to be 4 times ln 2 times 2 ln 3. And let's go ahead and distribute this. First expand the square. You're going to get ln 2 squared plus 2 ln 3 squared, which you can also write as 4 times ln 3 squared, right? And then uh, it's probably better to write it that way. So it's going to be 4 times ln 3 squared and then plus 2 ln 2 ln 3 multiplied by 2 because we have a 2ab in the middle, remember? That's going to be 4 ln 2 times ln 3. All right? Great. But here we get something similar. 4 times 2 is going to be 8. So it's going to be 8 ln 2 ln 3. Same thing with a different coefficient. So there are like terms. We can combine them. ln 2 squared plus... 4 times ln 3 squared. When you subtract 4 something minus 8 something, it's going to be minus 4 something. Apple, whatever you want to call that. 
Okay? And notice that this expression is a perfect square, and that's actually perfect. We can write this as ln 2 minus 2 ln 3 quantity squared. Because I got a squared, b squared, and minus 2ab. So it's just the same thing that we had here with a minus sign. Make sense? Okay. This is my discriminant, and I can go ahead and solve for x now. Negative b, remember our quadratic, b was the coefficient of x. So if you negate it, it's going to have a plus sign, ln 2 plus 2 ln 3. And then plus minus the square root of delta. Now, if you square root this, you're going to get ln 2 minus 2 ln 3. Put a plus minus sign, but we already have the plus minus sign, so we're good. That, all of that is divided by 2a, which is the coefficient of x squared. In this case, that will be 2 times ln 2. Make sense? So far, so good. So that's basically what we did. We wrote this as a quadratic in x, and then found the discriminant, and then we used the quadratic formula. Why did I find the discriminant separately? Because if I didn't, then I would have to write it every time, and it would be really messy. It would take up so much space. That's why I wanted to calculate the discriminant separately, and then plug in the final form, which is a perfect square, and that's really nice. Okay, awesome. So these are the values, but let's go ahead and split them up into two solutions, ln2 plus 2 ln3. Let's go with the plus sign first, minus 2 ln3 divided by 2 ln2. 2 ln3 is going to cancel out. This is going to give you 2 ln2 divided by 2 ln2. Uh-oh, that is equal to 1. So one of the solutions is 1, and we're going to take a look at it, a second look. Okay, the other solution is going to come from the minus sign, ln2 plus 2 ln3 minus ln2 plus 2 ln3. Because we have an expression, we have to negate both. And here, ln2 cancels out. And we end up with 4 ln3 divided by 2 ln2. 2 goes into 4 twice, so we can cross cancel. And this becomes 2 ln3 over ln2. Now, these are the solutions. There are two solutions, and of course, this is a quadratic equation, so it's supposed to have two solutions. Make sense? And obviously, 2 ln3 can be written as ln9. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method, and we're going to look at some results from Wolfram Alpha, maybe even look at a graph. So here's how the second method works. We have 2 to the x times 3 to the 2 over x equals 9. I mean 18, right? Not 9. 2 times 9. And then, remember, we put the 2's together and the 3's together, and we got something like this. 2 to the power x minus 1 equals 3 to the power, uh, what was it? Uh, 2 minus 2 over x. Now, we can go ahead and write it as 2 to the power x minus 1 equals 3 to the power 2x minus 2 over x. And then, we can go ahead and actually factor out a 2 here, which is the critical part. And notice that x equals 1 satisfies it, because it kind of gives you, if x is equal to 1, then you get 2 to the 0 and 3 to the 0, which are equal, right? Cool. So once we get that out of the way, which is a solution, we can go ahead and cancel them out. In other words, raise both sides to the power of 1 over x minus 1, and this is going to give us 2 equals 3 to the power 2 over x, which is kind of nicer. And then you can L on both sides, because in, in this case, the solution will be fairly easy ln2 equals 2 over x ln3, multiply both sides by x, you get x ln2 equals 2 ln3, and then finally divide by ln2, and you get 2 ln3 over ln2. Along with x equals 1, these are going to be all the solutions, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at some results from Wolfram Alpha and a graph, yay! So there's two pieces to this graph. This one is kind of almost like flat, you don't see it because you have to zoom in like crazy. But there are two pieces. One of the pieces is kind of like curvy, and you do see two intersection points. And wait a minute, what are these? These are complex solutions. This is the only integer solution. And in general, we should have two solutions, but they're not displayed here for some reason. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.